Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is that we're going to make picture graphs. So in the last lesson, we um, uh, we used picture graphs. Well, now we're going to learn how to make them. Okay, they're not hard. So there's our common course strand, and so how can we draw a picture graph to show the data in the table? Okay, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So and then you click your third grade link up there and you'll find your your class in here so here's a, a problem here mrs horgan made the table at the right she used it to record the third grade class's favorite exhibit at the science exploratorium how can we show this data in a picture graph okay so we have nature solar science light and sound and human body and then the number um, there were six uh, students that liked the nature there were 15 students that liked the solar system. There were 12 that liked um, uh, the light and sound. And then finally, nine that liked uh, the human body. So at the science exploratorium. So we're going to make a picture graph. All right, let's move that up right there. Okay, so we have this table right here. Now, this table is going to be representing this. So all we're going to do is transform this information into this. And instead of having the number six, we're going to put uh, pictures in for the number six. Okay, now we could do six pictures right here, whatever picture that we choose. I'm, I'm doing just a little smiley face here. But look at these numbers, 15, 12, and 9. I don't think I'd have enough room to do that. So we're going to count each picture as a number that's going to represent all of these. So look at these numbers, 6, 15, 12, and 9. So we're going to go ahead and write the title at the top of the picture graph and then write the names in the place. So let's go ahead and write this title right here. So you'll see I'll highlight this in dark blue. That means I'm doing, we're writing the title. So the title is Favorite Exhibit right here. Okay, and the second part says write the name of the place in each row. So we're going to write nature, solar system, light, and the human body. So that's what goes right here. Okay, so step two. We're going to go ahead and look at the numbers in the table. We're going to choose a picture for the key and tell how many students each picture represents. And then we're going to write uh, a key at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, uh, look at the numbers. And we're going to choose a picture for the key. So there's my smiley face right down there. That's going to be my, my picture that we're going to use right there. Just draw a generic smiley face. You can draw whatever figure you want, but since we're talking about students, uh, I chose a smiley face. And then we're going to tell how many uh, students each picture, re picture represents. So I'm not going to have uh, my picture represent one student because then I'd have to write 15 smiley faces for this one right here. So I think I'm going to choose um, uh, three because three, good, you know, these are all groups of three right here. This is two groups of three. This is five groups of three. This is, you know, how many groups of three are in 12 right there? You know, if we count by threes, three, and then six, nine, uh, twelve, so I'm using my fingers, three, six, nine, twelve, there's four of them, so how many groups of three are in this, uh, three, six, nine, there's three groups in that, so I'm going to choose uh, three to tell how many students each picture is going to represent. Okay, so now, uh, uh, so there's that, we wrote the key at the bottom right there. So now we're going to go ahead and draw the correct number of pictures for each exhibit. Okay, so for nature, since there's six students that like it, and each of these faces are going to count for three, I'm going to need uh, two faces to count for six, because three plus three equals six. So we'll go ahead and write two faces in there. So here's three students, here's three more students. That's going to give us six right there. Okay, for the solar system... We're going to have more faces than that, 3 and then 6, and then plus 3 more is going to get us 9, plus 3 more will get us 12. Finally, the fifth one is going to get us um, uh, 15 students. Can you see there's 15 students? If each one of these represents 3, here's 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Okay, and so for the light and the sound, there's going to be four of those, and then for the human body, there's going to be three of those. This represents uh, 12 right here, and this represents nine students. Okay, three plus three plus three equals nine. Remember, each face equals nine right there. Okay, so let's move that up, and, and uh, how did we decide how many pictures to draw for the solar system? Okay, well, since uh, the solar system was 15 students, and since each of these smiley faces represented three students, then there were 15 students, and each of the smiley face counted as three students, so we just counted by threes until we got to 15. 
And so that gave us five of those smiley faces right there. Okay, that's a nice quick lesson. Okay, take care.